small update today is 6 uh, August. Uh, we have uncertain here for Erik Rosén. Erik Rosén who is the father of Elisabeth Katarina and Ingeborg. Uh, but I think I can change this to certain now. What has happened is that we have Erik Rosén. He is um, born in Koldemo, Ardebro, lives in Söderhamn. Um, He's marrying Anna von Ander and, and they have a, an, um, in the newspaper they have about the engagement and so on. So I think it's my understanding from this um, for Nander is that they are rather wealthy. Um, they moved to Sundsvall, Carl Erik Jalmar is born, Erik and so on. And they moved back to, to, to Söderhamn and then in Söderhamn... Uh, they get a little bit of chaos. I understand that um, Edla is living at, at the same place as um, um, Eric and his wife. Let's see here, Eric's all open. Um, here, the household book. So if we look in this book, using archive digital we have um, this page where we can see that Edla is moving in 98 this is moving in and then Edla is again on further down it says see above 1900 uh, and, and then she get those two children we have this indication of Eric is the father and up here we have that Anna and they are divorcing um, what could be of interest is to get the court documents which I think is not so difficult but then they are in paper so you have to order them or, or somehow so they are divorcing and then I don't understand this small sign here but then it says he's moving to the States 1902 and um, in the States, uh, it could be that he is moving. I used Ancestry. It was free this weekend. And it could be that he, we have 11 and 15 we have. That's the one. And 15 is Ah, it's some register in the household book. And then it also says Erik från skild eh, divorced. Handlande, that means his uh, shop owner or somehow. His father is Ace Island. Uh, and then it says North America. 5th March and then if I looked in the ancestry record uh, on I don't have a subscription but here is the link that link works I think then you can see that on the same page is Olaf Rosin which I think is his father's cousin Olaf Rosen So this is his father, born in Mortsjö, uh, and I haven't tracked him, but he's moving to New York, somewhere, some as to to US, and I think you had an address also in in this uh, document from Archive Digital.
can we do a quick check if I, I did a copy of it? Hey, this is uh, Franz Rosen, that's uh, another son of him. Well, I don't have it, um, but you have to look in the records. And maybe we can find it also in, in the um, uh, Archive Digital. No, it's, it, they, are, they are leaving from Kristianstad, they are not leaving in from Gothenburg. So that's a little bit odd. Christiania, and I think that could be Copenhagen, uh, destination New York, or it's somewhere in Norway. I don't know. Uh, but but um, the proof now, I think, that this Eric is Eric. What we had when he was born, uh, he was. Um, Father unknown, but then he, his mother moved together with uh, Eric Rosen. And um, so, so the question has been, is he the son of Eric Rosen? But when we look into the um, probate of his father, factory owner Eric Rosen, huge probate, 25 pages, it's crazy. But I, they, I think he had, he had this... Um, factory and everyone he was not the best person and, and <laughs> other people were not either uh, here we have in uh, 18, 1905 uh, after Fabricor factory owner Eric Rosen who died in uh, Söderhamn and then we have Enkan Margareta Born Hansson son Erik who is living in America so here we have another proof, and daughter Sigrid Dorothea, who was um, at, what do you say, she was there when they did this. Um, and, and the son, Eric, was, um, he had a person there, who, uh, Hedberg, who took care of his part. And then they had a, a will saying that if one of, the, of us is dying... Uh, then the other one should have it and he was a uh, painter master of painter and, and then we have he has a rather big house I think it's um, gourd number four second quarter to the hum it's worth 32,000 and they had a house in Chilafors And they had a summer house in Secret Snass. And then, then they had a house in Stockholm. So they had houses for 103,000, which is a lot of money, I think. I've never seen so much money, I think. But, and they have some stocks. But then we have here what they have in the house. In the house, in the house, and here they go down to all, they have 273 uh, matches worth 14, they have and so on, so it's crazy, this uh, kind of document. But then we have also, they have a depth on, on if it's sure or not sure, what you say, if you're sure to get the money or not sure, then if you're not sure it's in this column. So it, it's five, ten pages with people who is owning him money. And, and here at the end we have um, 
exign. So Ingrid Rosén, Erik Rosén. So it looks like the sun is there from the US. No, but no, it's Erik Rosén who is uh, Hedberg is taking care of his part. But the, 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 the other daughter, and here is the um, uh, Margaret Rosén, that's her handwriting. So that's rather interesting. So here we have another indication, and I think we also had in the mother's uh, testimony, in, in the probate. Um, she is dying just yes, some days later, passed away in 19. Then we have that one. Yes, here is the mother. I did, this is the father. Here is um, uh, the widow Margareta Rosén, born Hans son who died in Söderhamn, the 25th, and um, had two children who are still living, Erik Rosén, who is living in America, and daughter Ingrid. So here both are mentioned Erik as their son. So the only what's needed is a DNA test, I think. And um, now we can see that all those 15 pages has been, uh, they, she still has, no. Yes, looks like she still has the house, number four, in Söderham, worth 35,000. She has 5,000 in the bank. There's still a lot of things, so it was not a big problem. But uh, but she's still... Uh, in depth, 26,000. Yeah. So that is. So I think what I will do now is that I go out and on Eric Hussein, it's uncertain we will set this to confident, but not confident with DNA. So, no, we don't have this uncertain here. That's all for, I hope, some weeks. <laughs> it has been interesting to look into this. Thank you. Bye.